the Thunderspark Maiden is next. This is a Maiden Hurdle. And you'll look at the full list of participants. There were two holes and one furlong. At the top, we've got Autoro Lamborghini for Paul Rhodes. Desire Lines for Darren Thompson. Dominion of Sorrow, Joshua Sutherland. Shetland Bus, Graham Clutterbuck. Alpine Wind, Obi Wan. Breakout Character, Leon Van Rensburg. Chickle Mix Hayes for David Robertson. Cleveland Creek for Vinnie Gerard. Duchess of Arizona, Paul Rhodes. And First Act having its first run for David Hooley. So ten of them then in this. Uh, called in and away. And let's see how the Lamborghini gets on against the Shetland bus, shall we? As they make their way to the first of the nine flies of hurdles in this and all safely over it. And the Obi One horse, as predicted, is in the lead. Alpine Wind clear of all Toro Lamborghini in second. And Desire Lines in third. Looking to the back, Dominion of Sorrow is just the back marker, but no more than six lengths off the lead as they take the second and come up past the stand. And they'll be passing the winning post very soon. And then going out for a complete circuit of the Ascot track and Alpine Wind is clearing the lead by two and a half lengths or so to Desire Lines in second but the main body of the field are very tightly grouped. You could chuck a decent sized picnic blanket over a lot of them and Alpine Wind is two lengths ahead of them. On Desire Lines is probably just second and Chickle Mix Hayes the Grey in third, with Autoro Lamborghini and Shetland Bus. The Duchess of Arizona is after that one. First act and Cleveland Creek. And finally, Breakout character is now just the back marker as they get to the third. And Alpine Wind is still the clear leader, but Autoro Lamborghini looks like it wants to go a lot quicker than the jockey wants it to. Jumping its way to the head of the main pack as they get over the next and Alpine Wind continues to the Chickomix Hayes is second, Desire Lines is third then Dominion of Sorrow and Autoro Lamborghini with the Shetland bus coming up, oh, that one's inside and then comes the Duchess of Arizona as they get over the fifth and the first act still just a back marker but nothing out of this yet and Alpine Wind setting the pace, leads by two to Chickomix Hayes, the great and closest to his Dominion of Sorrow between the two of them is Desire Lines. And just tucked in behind Shetland Bus is getting boxed in. Uh, Al Toro Lamborghini is also going to need a little bit of luck as it's been held in by its stable mate Duchess of Arizona at this point. In comes Breakout Character. First act to switch to the inside and Cleveland Creek has switched to the outside as the lead suddenly changes and it's Dominion of Sorrow that's gone on then now. Dominion of Sorrow is Chickle Mix Hayes and uh, Desire Lines are still there. Alpine Wind is trying to get back into the lead though on the inside rail. They've got three more flights still to take. And Dominion of Sorrow and Alpine Wind together from Duchess of Arizona has come through from nowhere. Autoro Lamborghini is after that one. The Shetland bus trying to go up the inside. Chico Mix Hay is still there. Desire Lines is beginning to drop away now. First act is coming with a strong looking run through the field and has burst through into third place. But it's Dominion of Sorrow and Alpine Wind now being joined by first act. Then comes Alpine uh, Chico Mix Hayes and Shetland buses after that one. But first act has suddenly shot to the front. Dominion of Sorrow is trying to go with it as they come down towards the second and last, it's first tackle that lands in the lead from Dominion of Sorrow, Shetland Bus is next, then Duchess of Arizona and Chico Mix as they race up towards the final flight then now, and first act is beginning to pull away, first act has gone too clear over the final flight, gets away from it well, Dominion of Sorrow and Duchess of Arizona trying to run on, but they're not going to get to first act, I don't think, first act inside the final furlong seems to be going strongly enough in front, in fact he's still pulling away, although Dominion of Sorrow is trying to close, so too his breakout character and first act is tying up now, and it's going to be Dominion of Sorrow and Breakout Character they flash past the post together. Breakout Character and Dominion of Sorrow and it looked like First Act had got that one well and truly sewn up and he just stopped like he hit a brick wall and he just about ended up fifth in the end as he was swallowed up by the field and Dominion of Sorrow's just Got up to take it for Joshua Sutherland. Breakout character for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Paul Rhodes was third with Duchess of Arizona. Desire Lines was fourth for Darren Thompson. And first act for David Hooley looked all over the winner and ended up fifth.